Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video here to bring you guys a video from our good friends over at Games Planet. They are running an awesome Christmas sale right now. On top of that, a great Sega publisher sale. Just a ton of good deals all around. You guys know what the season is and all that good stuff. So there's going to be a lot of good deals uh, really for the next month, month and a half. And really, like, let's be real guys. There's good deals all the time. So we'll go through all of them. We've got a ton of good stuff to go over. Links to all of these deals in the description box below if you buy anything i do get an affiliate kickback so that is much appreciated but as i mentioned at the top uh we do have a sega publisher sale running right now and of course a sega is synonymous with sonic sonic frontiers is 62 percent off for 23 dollars uh i have been very very complimentary towards this game is it perfect no it's got some issues but man if you're a fan of sonic games especially for the last decade decade and a half when you get a good sonic game you'll see it as a great great Sonic game. And Sonic Frontiers, I would say, is a good game. Soundtrack is fantastic. The open levels are great. Gameplay, yo, they can definitely build on the gameplay from what they've set in Sonic Frontiers, but I think the good in Frontiers definitely outweigh the bad, and for 23 bucks, it's a great deal. I could definitely see why, you know, 60 bucks might be a little bit much, but at 23, this is a great pickup. Now, if you want to check out some throwback Sonic titles, they've got Sonic Adventure 2 for $2.50, and something a little bit more recent, Sonic Generations, the collection is 75% off for $4.99. Sonic Generations is awesome. Um, that's one of the more recent Sonic games that actually turned out great. And then Adventure 2 is obviously like an all-time classic that people revere as just like one of the best, uh, best platformers ever. So great deals on Sonic games all around. Next up, we've got Judgment, 53% off for $19. This game is tremendous, and if you're trying to get into the RGG games, a lot of people will mention, you know, go check out Yakuza 0, and I can understand that. I mean, that's like the introduction to their most known franchise. However, Yakuza 0 does not have English dub. It is a game that was built for the PlayStation 3, and when you look at Yakuza as a whole, you're talking about like eight games to play through, and I get it. People are excited for Infinite Wealth, but Judgment at this point, You've just got Judgment and Lost Judgment, and Judgment as, a, as its own, very good self-contained story, and it's uh, it's awesome. Judgment is tremendous, great main character, sound design is good, story has a lot of twists and turns, a lot of content, good gameplay, 19 bucks for it is great, and if you just want to go through the main story, it's worthwhile to go through it in that regard, but obviously if you want to do everything... That's going to be a more sizable undertaking, but it's one thing to just go into one game like Judgment and play that, and then Yakuza is like, eight, it's like eight games, there's like a Dragon Ishii and Mana who erased his name, it's just a wild undertaking Yakuza is, so if you want to get into the style of gameplay um, and RGG titles, I think Judgment's a great starting point, and I know people think it's blasphemy to play these games with English voiceover, but the English dub, they did a great job with it, so take that for what you will. Uh, next up, we have LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, 72% off for $14.00. Uh, not a big Star Wars guy, not a big Lego guy either, but Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga was awesome, a lot of content, and the Lego titles are always just a good time. Maybe not a good time to justify 50, 60 bucks, but $14 here, it's quite good. There is a sizable amount of DLC content, but what can you do? Um, that is just a reality with WB these days, so... Check it out, 14 bucks for that is quite good. Fallout titles deserve a mention. We've got New Vegas Ultimate Edition for $6.30, and then we got Fallout 3 Game of the Year Edition, $6.30 on that as well. New Vegas, all-time classic. People love this game, and I feel like, you know, with hindsight, people revere and look at this game as the best Fallout game ever. They might do a New Vegas 2 at some point. You got Microsoft with ownership of Bethesda and Obsidian. But uh, New Vegas for $6.30, obviously a great deal. And Fallout 3, obviously, that's a great deal as well. It's just like with retrospectively, people look at New Vegas as the better game over 3. 3 is obviously still excellent, and New Vegas, like, it took a lot of what 3 did and just, you know, applied that into a new setting. Uh, next up, we got Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire, 79% off for $8.50. Great deal on this. I did prefer Pillars of Eternity 1, but Deadfire is an uplifted title, and for $8.50, if you want a classic RPG, this is a great one, especially at this price point. Another Obsidian game, uh, so you know you're getting a quality RPG here. Now, Next up, we have Shadow Tactics Blades of the Shogun, $3.20. You guys know me, I'm not crazy about tactics-based titles, but Shadow Tactics has a great setting, and if you like that Edo period, Japan setting, you're gonna dig this quite a bit. Can get fairly challenging, but they've got a variety of different difficulty settings as well. Um, so yeah, if you like the setting, and 
maybe not the craziest fan of tactics titles, uh, still might be one worthwhile to check out. Done by an awesome studio as well, Mimimi. Um, they also did uh, Shadow Gambit, I believe, that recently released. Unfortunately, they're done with game development. They're going to do some Shadow Gambit DLC, and then um, I believe that's it. Like the uh, uh, Game development's a, a tough world to get into, which is a bummer, but, you know, what can you do? 320 for Shadow Tactics, great deal there. Soul Hackers 2, 67% off for $19.50. Really dug this game. It came out back in August of last year, and I thought the soundtrack was excellent. I thought Ringo was an awesome main character, and the rest of the cast is pretty likable. The story's got a lot of twists and turns. Some of the dungeon design is definitely a head-scratcher, unfortunately, which is a bummer. It's not all of it, but some of it is just really, really arduous to get through. Um... But yeah, I think the good here outweighs the bad in 1954, and I think is a really solid pickup. Next up, a couple Digimon titles. Digimon Story Cyber Sooth Complete Edition for $8.74. Disgustingly good deal. This includes both uh, Digimon Story Cyber Sooth as well as Hacker's Memory. A lot of reused content across the two games, but man, from a value standpoint, this is a ridiculously good deal that I would strongly recommend. And uh, two really well-made turn-based JRPGs if you're a fan of Digimon as well. Obviously, you're going to enjoy this game uh, quite a bit. And Digimon was like the the show that I preferred growing up. I was a bigger fan of Digimon than Pokemon. But, uh, you know, obviously, you know, I had like over 100 hours on po on a lot of the Pokemon games as well. So take that for what you will. 874 for Cyber Sooth. And then Di uh, Digimon Survive is 71% off for 1740. A lot of people were kind of bamboozled by this game. And I, bamboozled is probably not the right word because uh, the developers were very open and honest about what this game was going to be. More of a visual novel style experience, more of a game that is focused on the storytelling and very light on the tactics-based gameplay. I think people, some people were taken aback by that and it wasn't a game that they really dug. For me, I'll, I can enjoy visual novels. I love a good story and a good darker Digimon story. Gonna be right up my alley and Digimon Survive told a really solid, um, darker toned Digimon tale and for 1740, I think this is quite a good deal. Uh, this is a game that's been holding up in price, so at this price point, I think it's pretty damn good. DBZ Kakarot. Base game is 13 bucks, And then I do want to give a shout to Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, the Legendary Edition. It is $40, but it includes Season Pass 2. Season Pass 2 just came out back in January, uh, and it's not even finished with the content rollout. There's going to be one more piece of uh, an expansion that will be coming with that, and it includes Season Pass 1. So you get the base game, Season Pass 1, and Season Pass 2. Um, season Pass 1 includes the future trunk story um you know the alternate timeline trunks against the androids and all that stuff and then so far with season pass two it includes uh the first one was the bardock episode and then they also did the dragon ball uh world tournament that was the second piece hopefully the third piece of dlc is something with broly i mean it would be like promotional malpractice to not do a broly based dlc in dbz Kagura. like that just seems like absolute nonsense but We'll see if that does ultimately happen. Kakarot also was a really good retelling of the DBZ story. Some very jarring things omitted, like Trunks' fight with Cell is just randomly not in there, which I did not understand. I'm sure that I'm sure from a development standpoint, there was a reason that decision was made. It's just from my vantage point, I didn't understand why that was made. Um, but overall, a very, very good retelling of that. They're going to retell Dragon Ball Z until I am literally in the grave. So, like, you know, if they can figure out different compelling ways to do it, more power to them, and I felt like Kakarot was a pretty good way of telling that story. Hopefully, Naruto at some point gets the DBZ Kakarot treatment, because that would be absolutely insane, and that would be uh, a license to print money, so take that and run with it, Bandai Namco. Enough of the Naruto Storm filler games, like Naruto Storm Collect uh, Connections. <laughs> um, you know, that game is just absolutely not worth 60 bucks, but... I digress there. Dying Light Definitive Edition, 84% off for $8. I talk about Dying Light ad nauseum. It's great. Awesome platforming, parkour gameplay, combat's good. Story's okay. Uh, has been updated consistently by Techland as well. They do a great job with these uh, with their games, so... Eight bucks for that is good. And uh, lastly, Devil May Cry 5 and Virgil, 750 on that. Go, uh, you know what? I don't even have to like sell you on this game. If you haven't played DMC5, just go YouTube Devil Trigger, listen to that song, and then go buy DMC5. That's all I'm going to say. 750 is ridiculous. Uh, but definitely listen to Devil Trigger. That's a great song. Uh, but that is going to do it for me. Again, a lot of great deals from our good friends at Games Planet. Links to all of these deals in the description box below. Again, if you buy anything, get an affiliate kickback. Much appreciated. But that'll do it for me. Let me know. All of your thoughts in the comments section down below, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. 
Hey, what's going on guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.